All right, Paolo Gonzalez, Fight Sport Manila, joining me and still, and he's back, Chris Hoffman. Chris, how does it feel to be back? I feel great. It's awesome to be home. I mean, I grew up in Switzerland, but this is my home. Seriously, I got born here. I learned how to fight here. I had almost all my fights here. So bye, I'm home. I'm home. Now, Chris, just to say, you feel comfortable here. Uh, we saw you before the fight, even before the venue opened. You were actually mingling with the fans, talking to them, like having conversations. Knowing that you have a fight, is it because you are confident with your performance? No, 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 not at all. It's just like, I'm really an uh, open guy. If I see someone, if they're nice to me, I'm nice as well, right? And I'm really socialized when it comes to that. And you know, it's a homecoming for me, so I appreciate every fan who supports me. So, ayun, when they're nice to me, I'm nice to them. That, that's it. But I was really nervous before fighting Musa. I mean, he's a big guy. Yeah, and aside from that, his eyes is like a, a serial killer. Yeah, huh? yeah, right. I mean, dude, that guy, he made me really nervous. He's longer, he's bigger, and he, he's coming from a legit camp, fighting camp, you know. So, I knew exactly he, he wants to pressure me, so I have... I'm not allowed to step back. That's that's the only thing I knew. So that's why I moved forward all the time I could. Yeah, and one of the perfect game plans you had for the match is actually attacking his legs. It's either a leg kick or you were actually punching his legs. Is that something you learned during the Johanna Yon J Chick training? Not really. Um, well, I, lo I learned a lot there. Um, I learned when I eat a leg kick, I just should move forward. I shouldn't I shouldn't eat it and like wait. So when he kicks me, I just hit him. And I tried to do that, but with uh, hitting the leg, it was just like I had nothing else to hit because he had really good control on me. He was strong. The only thing I saw was his pie. So that's why I hit it. And there was a near scare in the part of the match where he almost got you in a submission, but you got out of it. What was running through your mind during that time? Um, I knew exactly like um, that he has a strong Kimura from the guard. Doesn't matter full guard or half guard. Uh, my head coach Adna Gilari told me I have to prepare for that. It was a, I didn't execute the technique that was taught to me, but I was aware of it. So I tried to block it all the time with my knee so he couldn't uh, rip the Kimura out. So I just waited to him to tire out because I was also like getting exhausted, but I knew exactly the, the pressure is more on him because he had like to grip my arm. And I was just, like trying to stay steady to wait for him. Now you're back, but how soon are we going to see you again? I hope as soon as possible. The thing is, I'm a person, I need to stay active. I was, I was gone for one year in the MMA scene. I was wrestling with the national team. I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot, but I'm an MMA guy. I, rest, I love wrestling. I, I appreciate it. I respect it a lot, but I, I'm for MMA. So I really hope within the next three months I have a fight from the URCC or something in Europe. I have some people that are asking me to fight there in Belgium, Netherlands. So let's see. Basta, I need a fight within this year. All right, Chris, I guess it's time for you to thank everyone who supported you. First of all, I want to thank my wife. Without my wife, I wouldn't be anything. I brought her instead of a coach this time. And I think it was the right decision. She supported me all the way, all the time. And second, this fight was for my father who lost his life last year. Um, unfortunately, um, he was tired of uh, battling cancer, so he took his life. But I understand his reasons, and this was for him. And then, of course, I always thank the Filipino fans and my home team here, DevTalk Filipinas. They are the best. And my new team, or my co team, uh, 360 Martial Arts in Zurich, they adopted me, they took me in with open arms. They helped me prepare for this. I'm so thankful. I have so many teammates there and training mates who are really pushing me to the limit. Without them, I wouldn't have uh, made it happen here. And least but not last, my uh, head coach, Richard Lasprilla. He's the guy behind everything. Whatever he shouts, I hear it. Without him, I wouldn't perform the way I performed since like the last five fights. Now, Chris, I'm sure your dad is very proud of you. I guess it's time for you to celebrate. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. See you next time. Yeah. Bye, Chris Hoffman.